then. It is the night of opportunity. Welcome everyone to a sold it's out crowd for me. money in the bank. And we kick things off with the women's money in the bank ladder match. The following contest is a six woman ladder match. Making her way to the ring. From Melbourne, Australia, Emma. Emma has never become Miss Money in the Bank in her career. Could tonight be the night for Emma? Who's going to become Miss Money in the Bank? The rules are simple. You climb the ladder. You retrieve the briefcase. And inside the briefcase is a contract that you can cash in at any time up to a year for a championship match. Here comes the EST of WWE. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, B. We very well could be looking at a brand new Money in the Bank winner this year. Somebody that has never held the contract before. The Archival Air, another woman that has never won the Money in the Bank contract in her career. Money in the Bank, one of the most exciting nights of the WWE calendar. WWE Universal amped up here tonight. We are sold out for money in the bank. And here comes the goddess. And from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa. Unlike Bianca Belair and Emma, Alexa Bliss has actually won the Money in the Bank contract in her career and she's cashed it in successfully. Can she do it again? Alexa Bliss has certainly been very confident heading into this matchup here this evening. But will tonight be the night of the Goddess? Here comes another superstar that has won the Money in the Bank contract before. There is Bailey. And representing damage control from San Jose, California, Bailey. Damage control rooting for Bailey here tonight, but they will remain at ringside. Bailey making her way down to the ring as she looks to bring the Money in the Bank contract to damage control. What a matchup this is going to be. What a way to kick off Money in the Bank here tonight. change her career here tonight. I think Sonya Deville may be on the cusp of greatness. She has all the tools to be a champion 
in WWE, but has never quite reached the mountain top. Anything could go down here tonight, including a Sonya Deville win. Here comes the final competitor in this matchup. Piper Niven is the game changer in this matchup. Think of the damage that Niven could cause in this matchup. Tremendous power at her disposal. And that is going to cause all kinds of damage to the opposition here in this matchup. Ladders can be used as a weapon. You know damn well that Piper Niven is going to take advantage of that. So here we go. Women's Money in the Bank ladder match underway. All six women jockeying for position as we get underway here. And surprisingly, there is no one in the ring right now. That is crazy. Emma with the ladder sliding it into the ring. Oh, and now... Emma collides with the steel steps. No disqualifications or countouts are in effect here tonight. There's another ladder being introduced. The Piper Niven wiping out Bailey. Now Bailey sent into the ring. Two ladders in the ring right now, and Bailey is going to set up the ladder. Golden opportunity here for Bailey. She's all alone in the ring. And a prime opportunity to strike. Bailey trying to become this money in the bank. The Piper Niven, oh my goodness. What a power ball. Bailey landed hard on the ladder. And look at the strength of Piper Niven. Oh my god. A shoulder break off. Now Emma and Bailey going at it in the ring. Bailey just got slammed into the ladder. Now so did Abil get sent into the ring. Piper Niven takes out Emma. And Piper Niven on a roll right now. Bianca Valera and Emma now battling on the outside of the ring. Big slam. Meanwhile, Piper Niven gets set on the outside. And so Nina Bill with the spear. Emma able to counter. Oh, and from behind. Backdrop suplex. Bailey and Deville in the ring. Going at one another. Now Deville is sent into the corner. And they've got Bailey unloading. Like and Nippin just went right into the ladder. Oh, and again. And now Bailey with the ladder in hand. And Deville gets sent to the outside. Bailey again. Climbing to the top of the ladder. Trying to retrieve the money in the bank contract. But Emma on the other side of the ladder. Trying to put a stop to Bailey. Now every woman inside the ring. Look at the exchange on the top of the ladder. Who's going to come out of this one on top? Bailey and Emil back and forth. Down goes Emil. And Bailey again. Hands on the money in the bank contract. Trying to pull it down. But now Bianca and Piper Niven. Putting a stop to Bailey. Oh my goodness. Niven with a sent on. Right across the midsection. The ladder is still set up. And Piper Niven gets sent to the outside. Bianca now with her hands on the contract. And Bailey now playing defense. And Piper Niven pushing down the ladder. Bailey hit hard. And 
And now Sonia Deville lining up Bailey. Bailey gets set to the outside. Deville could have had a chance there to climb the ladder. And she just realized this could be her opportunity. Deville resets up the ladder, but in comes Bailey. She gets sent into the corner. But now it's Emma who sends Deville into the corner. Big shoulder tackle. And in comes Piper Nibbin. Nibbin sending Emma flying out of the ring. Bailey to belly. And Sonya Deville takes down Bailey. Every woman for themselves. Here tonight is Emma in a precarious situation. Look at Alexa Bliss on the outside. Now she enters the ring. Alexa Bliss looking to pick her moment. And she apparently picked the wrong one because now she's tied up in the woods. And Bailey just unloading. And the ladder has been set up. Who's going to take advantage of it? Bianca Belair sent to the outside. And now Emma flying to the top. Can Emma become this money in the bank? Can Emma pull down the money in the bank contract? In comes Bianca Belair, but wait a minute, look at this. I've been living clearly, Bailey. Meanwhile, Emma being stopped by Bianca Belair. What a brutal match this has been. Now, wait a minute, Alexa Bliss. Lifting Emma to her feet. And Sonya Deville gets sent into the corner. Emma with a snap suplex to Bliss. And again, every woman going at it right now. Jockeying for position. Bianca Belair with a steel chair. Alexa Bliss. Big knee strike by Deville. And now Emma set up for a back suplex. Bailey with a crossbody. And Bailey again with another opportunity. She's at the top of the ladder, as is Sonya Deville. And Piper Niven trying to knock Deville off the ladder. Piper Niven relentless. Looking for a power bomb, but instead there's a neck breaker by Bailey. And now Piper Niven looking to become this money in the back. Bianca Belair though. Putting a stop to it. Oh my goodness. Piper Niven with a Mitchell Oakle driver to Alexa Bliss. And now opportunity knocks once again for Niven. Emma Boy back to her feet. And oh, there's the spotlight. And Emma beating the hell out of Piper Niven. Bailey setting up the Orca. Rose Paul. And there's a full roll now to the back of Emma. Big back suplex to follow. And now another ladder being introduced into this matchup. Big full roll by Bliss. And now, Bliss with the DDT onto the ladder. Oh, the Loch Ness slam by Piper Niven. Chaos ensuing right now. by the goddess and Bliss gets sent to the outside and now Bailey grabbing a hold of the ladder and putting it to use trying to eliminate the field Piper Niven sends her off the woods oh what a hip toss and Alexa Bliss sends Emma to the outside 
Well, I believe it as well. And will it be one of these women that walk out with the money in the bank contract? Reverse DDT there by Bailey. And again, the Rose Pawn to Bianca. Keep your eyes though on Bliss. Alexa Bliss, hands on the money in the bank contract. Bailey trying to stop her, but it's too late. Alexa Bliss has missed money in the bank. Alexa Bliss has done it again. She is now a two-time Money in the Bank winner. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. And it's for the WWE United States Championship. We are back here at Money in the Bank. And it's now time for the United States Championship match. There is the show-off, Dolph Ziggler. And let's take you back to two weeks ago when Dolph Ziggler became number one contender to the United States title. And now it's time to put this away. But Ziggler kicks back up to his feet. And there's a bulldog from behind. Root never saw that coming. And now Dolph Ziggler trying to capitalize as he measures Robert Root for the super kick. Cover by Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler's coming to money in the back. Here is your winner. And wait a minute, Austin Theory! The United States Champion is here! And oh, he's gonna run off to Ziggler! His opponent for Money in the Bank! Austin Theory! Not wasting any time to try and soften up Ziggler! And Ziggler up onto the shoulders! A town down! Dolph Ziggler had some comments to make the following week about the attack by Fury. We'll show you that in just a moment. But here comes the United States Champion. There is Austin Fury, ready to defend his title here tonight at Money in the Bank. Well, let's take you back to this past week on Monday Night Raw when Ziggler responded to the attack by the champion. Last week, Austin Theory attacked me after my match with Robert Roode in what was a spineless move, but I shouldn't be surprised. I mean, this is Austin Theory we're talking about. The man's so spineless, he might as well be an invertebrate. It is gonna feel so damn good when I take the United States Championship from him on Sunday. I am going to put him in his place. I'm going to humble him. And I'm going to knock him off his pedestal. You are looking at the next United States Champion. And well, go big off. The United States Champion, Austin Theory. is going to take offense to those comments made by the show-off. Come on, Dolph. Like you haven't taken shortcuts and attacked people from behind in your career. I'll tell you what you are, Dolph. You are a hypocrite. This Sunday, you ain't going to put me in my place. You ain't going to humble me. And you ain't knocking me off my pedestal because you are going to lose to me. You are going to be the one that gets knocked further down the pecking order on Raw. And I'm going to remain standing on top of my pedestal as United States Champion. Theory with the super kick. Dominic Mysterio is dazed. And now Theory with a town down. Here's the cover. And the champion prevails. Here is your winner, Austin. 
Austin Theory picks up the win here tonight on Raw. He gains momentum heading into Sunday, but wait a minute. Single with a super kick. Turn him out as fair play, kid. See you Sunday. So that leads us to this moment, to this match between Austin Theory and Dolph Ziggler. United States Championship on the line. Introducing the challenger from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds. He is the WWE United States Champion, Austin Theory. Well, if you remember, Dolph Ziggler wanted this matchup to be no disqualification, and he gets his wish. There will be no disqualifications or countouts in effect during this matchup. United States Championship on the line. That is what Ziggler is after. That is what this matchup comes down to. Ziggler, Theory for the United States title. And we are underway. And Dolph Ziggler trying to get under the skin of the champion and Theory not gonna take it lightly. Austin Theory just unloading on the challenger. Oh, Matt Slam. And Theory continuing the beatdown. Strong start here for the United States champion. Went for the chop. Ziggler now trying to battle back. Went after the knee. Theory able to sidestep. And as they saw it, headlock takeover. Dolph Ziggler again has been grounded. WWE Universe pulling for Ziggler here in this one. As Ziggler gets sent to the outside. And now Austin Theory went for the clothesline on the outside of the ring. Ziggler in the duck it. And now look at the show off go. Taking the fight to the United States Champion. Oh, and Theory sent into the barricade. Oh, head first goes Theory. Now the challenger in control. Austin Theory is picked back up to a vertical base. And what does Ziggler have in mind here? Oh, just driving Theory head first into the steel steps. Nothing fancy about that, but it is effective. And now Theory off that kick to the bread balls. He will send Ziggler into the steps. And now the champion. Oh, the boot went to the face. And here comes the weaponry. Again, no disqualifications in effect. Austin Theory setting up a table. And oh, Sigma with a German suplex. Driving Theory into the steel steps for a second time. And that table has been set up. Dolph Ziggler intending to put Theory through it. And the WWE Universe are loving it. Ziggler is all fired up. And now Theory sent back into the ring. Dolph Ziggler looking at all himself. Sledgehammer in hand at Theory with a massive clothesline. And now Ziggler set up for a power bomb to retain the championship. Kick out at two. And now Ziggler with some stiff forearms. Right to the skull of the champion. Big kick down the back. And there's the amateur wrestling background of the show off. 
coming into play. As he just tries to keep Theory grounded, but now wait a minute. Dolph Ziggler setting up for the zigzag. Theory counter for the back elbow. Went to try and trip up Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler now with a side headlock takeover. And look at Ziggler just wrenching on the skull of Theory. Oh, elbow there to the spine. And the show up in position. As he lines up the United States Champion, went for the famous off, got caught. Another power bomb by the champion. And now, oh, tried to use the sledgehammer. Ziggler tripped him up. And now Theory gets sent into the corner. Stick a splash. Ziggler in control right now. Can he become United States Champion once again in his career? Looking for a DDT perhaps. Theory countering. Inside cradle now. Trying to retain the United States Championship by any means possible. But Ziggler got his shoulder up. Oh, what a shot. And a second one. A third shot to the shovel. And now Ziggler sent to the outside of the ring. And what does Austin Theory have planned here? Kick right to the bread basket, and oh my god, looking for a power wall on the apron perhaps. Sigler trying to fight it, and he does. And there's the famous off. Famous off on the outside, can Sigler follow up? Pinfalls and submissions can only occur inside the ring. And now Dolph Sigler. Looking to put Theory away. Went for the super kick. Theory in the block. Oh, Fisherman Buster. Right off the knee to retain the United States Championship. Singler still in it. Dolph Ziggler hanging on in there. But now Theory. Looking for A-Town down. Ziggler up on the shoulders. But he manages to reverse. Oh, and Fury just got flown in. Oh, what a shot by Ziggler. Shot to the chest. Fury fires back, as does Ziggler. And now it's a back and forth battle between these two men. Who's going to get the upper hand? Oh, back elbow there by Ziggler. And the show off drives there in the outside along with himself. Throwing caution to the wind is Dolph Ziggler, all for the United States Championship. And now Ziggler introducing another table into this matchup. Theory went through the first one. Who's going to wind up going through the second? Dolph Ziggler now to the top turnbuckle. Missile drop kick. Right to the chest of Theory. To become United States Champion. Theory kicks out. And now table in hand. Theory though. With a kick. And then trying to set up Ziggler. Ziggler again with that reverse DDT. Went for the super kick. Theory able to counter it. Oh, what a shot by Theory. Ziggler may not have a clue where he's at, but Theory missed out on the clothesline. And Ziggler capitalizing. Theory now set up on the top turnbuckle. And Dolph Ziggler. Looking for something big. Thinking about a superplex, but Theory able to reverse. And now Ziggler in position. What a splash. Right to the spine of the show off. And now Theory has the table. And he's set it up. And Austin Theory with the slingshot suplex.
Listen to those boos from the WWE Universe. As now he looks to put Ziggler through the table. Oh, what a slam! Ziggler through the table. And Austin Theory may be on the cusp of retaining the title. A-Town down. And that's going to do it. Ziggler kicked out at two. Are you kidding me? And now Austin Theory again. Oh, TKO. And Austin Theory cannot believe that Ziggler kicked out of A-Town down. Ziggler can't have much left in the tank. But he's trying to get back up to his feet and he does. Oh, flying forearm. And Ziggler with a second win. Theory though. Trips up Ziggler right on the table pieces. And now back up onto the shoulders. A down down for a second time. Cover on Ziggler. Theory retains. We're back here at Money in the Bank, and there is the WWE Champion Roman Reigns, along with his special counsel, Paul Heyman. And they have just arrived to the arena here tonight at Money in the Bank. What the hell is going on? What is this about? What the hell is that? Oh my god! Is that Bray Wyatt? Bray Wyatt is back! Well, it has been over a year since we have seen that man. But Bray Wyatt is back in WWE. What a shocker. Here at Money in the Bank. Bray Wyatt making his long-awaited return to WWE. Well, this may have just changed the entire complexion of WWE as a whole. But which brand will Wyatt be going to? I guess we'll find out in due time. But what a moment here at Money in the Bank. Bray Wyatt is back, ladies and gentlemen.
held back. We are back here at Money in the Bank and I am still reeling over what we just witnessed a moment ago. The return of Bray Wyatt. But let us switch focus now to the SmackDown Women's Title Match. The following contest is a Triple Threat Match. And it's for the Introducing the challenger from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. Triple threat action is about to go down as Liv Morgan challenges for the SmackDown Women's title. And introducing the challenger from Venice Beach, California, the fattest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. There is Ronda Rousey, the second challenger here in this matchup tonight. Nikki Bella certainly has her work cut out for her. She defends her title against two women. Two former champions. And there she is, there is Nikki Bella. And introducing the champion, representing the Bella Twins. From San Diego, California, she is the SmackDown Women's Champion, Nikki Bella. Nikki Bella set to defend the SmackDown Women's title here tonight against Ronda Rousey and Liv Morgan. Morgan won a number one contenders match to earn the right to compete for the SmackDown Women's title. Meanwhile, Ronda Rousey made Nikki Bella tap out in a tag team match. Both Liv Morgan and Ronda Rousey have made their claims as to why they should challenge Nikki Bella for the SmackDown Women's title. And the general manager of SmackDown, JBL, just decided to make this a triple threat match. And Nikki Bella going right after Rousey. And look at Liv Morgan on the back of the champion. Trying to take Nikki Bella down. But now Ronda Rousey with the Hurricane Warner. And Nikki Bella with a snapmare takedown. Every woman for themselves. No disqualifications or countouts in effect as oh, Nikki Bella and Liv Morgan work together, momentarily at least, to try and take down Ronda Rousey. But Rousey went back to her feet. And look at the power. Oh, sideline the suplex. Back elbow to Liv Morgan. And now Morgan just got launched. And look at this, the power of Nikki Bella on display. Alabama slam to the baddest woman on the planet. And again, Liv Morgan trying to take Nikki Bella down, and she does. But Nikki makes it back up to her feet. And now look at Liv Morgan. Nice striking combination. Double foot stop to the midsection. And there's a basement drop kick. Liv's on a roll. Oh, but there's a kendo stick. And Morgan takes the fight back to Rousey. Ronda Rousey wasting no time to utilize the no disqualification stipulation in this triple threat match. Oh, Rousey went to the midsection. And Nikki Bella tackling Rousey to the canvas. Neck breaking out to Liv Morgan. And it was strikes from Ronda Rousey. Champion gets sent with the ropes into a hip toss. And Liv Morgan with a beal to Ronda. First woman to gain a pinfall or submission here tonight 
will walk out with the title powerbomb there by Nikki Bella to retain the championship. And Rousey breaks things up. Nikki Bella with a swing and a miss. And now Rousey looking to capitalize. Walking on the arm of the champion. And oh, what a close line. Rousey rolling through. And now looking to go to work on the arm of Liv Morgan. Remember, Rousey said that she was going to break the arms of Nikki Bella and Liv Morgan if need be in order to win the SmackDown Women's Championship tonight. And look at Liv. Oh, Jersey code breaker to Rousey. In the cover to win the championship, but only a one count. Still early days in this matchup. As now Nikki Bella will send Liv into the turnbuckle. And now Nikki working on the arm of Liv Morgan. Rousey, though, was lying in wait. And there's Piper's pit. Oh, and a Superman fall on to Liv. Rousey's on a roll right now. Can she become SmackDown Women's Champion here at Money in the Bank? Liv Morgan with a face buster. Now went for the hip attack in the corner. Nikki Bella got out of the way. Big forearm. And could that be a knockout blow? Here's the cover. Rousey breaks things up with a boot to the back of the head. Oh, but now Rousey up on the shoulders of the champion. Back attack. Liv Lloyd back to her feet. And she makes the save. And look at Liv Morgan. Head scissor takedown. And now Morgan looking to turn her attention to the baddest woman on the planet. Hip attack in the corner. And she follows up with a double foot stomp. Right to the chest of Ronda Rousey. Went for a second one. Rousey, no Superman punch. And here comes Nikki Bella with a steel chair. Nikki breaks up the cover. Rousey right back up to her feet, but she has to be rocked. STO by Nikki Bella. And look at Liv Morgan back into the ring. And Wonder Rousey's in position. Liv Morgan's gonna fly. What a sent on. Nikki Bella with the steel chair, right to the back of Liv Morgan. Oh, and again, Nikki Bella swinging through the fences with that steel chair. Morgan right back to her feet, went for the knee strike. Nikki Bella blocked it. Hit there to the gut, and now Nikki set up. Liv Morgan with the Chelsea code breaker. And Rousey takes down Liv. Side headlock applied. Morgan Love able to escape. And now Rousey turning her attention to the champion. Ankle lock applied. The ankle lock by Ronda Rousey. She great blinds the leg. And Nikki Bella's in a world of hurt right now. Can she escape? Smackdown women's title on the line. And Nikki Bella trying to fight out, and she does. How much damage, though, was done to the leg of the champion? And look at this, Rousey went back to the leg. Liv Morgan's there, though. And you have to think if Morgan wasn't there, this matchup could have been over. And we could have been looking at a brand new SmackDown Women's Champion. Morgan again went for the double foot stop. This time Rousey got out of the way. There's a kick to the gut though, and there's Oblivion. Morgan with Oblivion for the championship. Nikki Bella saves her title. And Morgan gets sent off the woods. Insiguri connecting. And a forearm right to the chest. And Nikki Bella's in trouble, Oblivion. 
This time to Mickey Bello. And Morgan lands on her feet. And look at Rousey trying to cover Nikki Bello. Desperation move there by the burnest woman on the planet. But now Liv Morgan sets up Rousey. Oh! And Morgan again with the code breaker. Nikki Bella with the steel chair. What a matchup. And Nikki Bella again continuing the assault with the steel chair on Liv Morgan. Is it enough? to retain the championship. No! Morgan able to kick out on her own accord. What a duo throw there by Rousey. And now Ronda Rousey trying to reposition the champion. In comes Liv Morgan though. Back elbow found its spot. Nikki Bella with the chop block. And now Liv from behind. Trying to roll up, Nikki Bella for the title kick out at two. Back elbow to Rousey. And Liv Morgan sends her back to the outside. Bulldog by Nikki Bella. And again with the steel chair. And could that have been a knockout blow? Nikki to retain. Liv Morgan kicks out. Right back to the steel chair goes Nikki Bella. And she again starts to swing for the fences. What a knee strike by Morgan. And Nikki Bella gets sent into the corner. Ronda Rousey though, picks her moment. Piper's pit. And that could be it. Shoulders down on Morgan. New champion and Morgan kicked out. And now Rousey shifts focus to Nikki Bella. Olympic slam. And now Rousey with the steel chair. Liv Morgan with that knee strike. And oh, Morgan bouncing off the woods to the outside. Now Ronda Rousey targeting the leg of Nikki Bella. Remember that ankle lock was locked in earlier in this matchup. Still gonna wonder how much damage was done. Oblivion on the outside. And Nikki Bella with the spear. Liv Morgan able to counter. And this could be Liv's moment. Nikki sent back into the ring. And now Morgan to the top turnbuckle. Nikki trying to prevent the high risk. But Morgan delivers the crossbody. And Rousey breaking things up before the count of one. And now the ankle lock. The ankle lock to Liv Morgan. Great vines the leg does Rousey. And Ronda Rousey could become SmackDown Women's Champion right here. But Nikki Bella again saving her title. Oh, Spinebuster. And here's the cover on Morgan. Has the damage been done? No. Morgan raises the shoulder in time. What a matchup this has been. As now, inside cradle by Morgan for a two count. And Liv Morgan going off with Ronda Rousey. Nice hurricane runner. Nikki Bella back to her feet. And there's the rack attack. Rock attack to Morgan. Cover, settle the ring. Nikki Bella retains. Here's your winner, and still the SmackDown Women's Champion, Nikki Bella. What a hard fought match. Nikki Bella retains the SmackDown Women's title despite the odds being heavily against her. What a matchup that was. Nikki Bella remains on top of the SmackDown Women's Division.
Welcome back everyone to Money in the Bank. And what a night it has been thus far, as it's now time for the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. And there is AJ Styles. AJ Styles looking to become Mr. Money in the Bank for the first time in his career tonight. And here comes the man that has a lot of history with AJ Styles. He is the leader of the Judgment Day. There is Finn Balor. in WWE history. A former NXT World Champion, Intercontinental Champion, and United States Champion. Ben Balor has a lot of accomplishments, but he has never become Mr. Money in the Bank. Could tonight be his night? Here comes the American Nightmare. The man looking to finish his story. And tonight is a crucial chapter in that story. Cody Rhodes looking for another chance to become WWE Champion. And he gets it tonight if he becomes the holder of the Money in the Bank contract. to capture the WWE title at Vengeance when he took on Roman Reigns. And it was due to Paul Heyman that Rhodes did not walk out with the championship. Can he earn himself another shot at the Tribal Chief tonight? Well, here comes a man that has won the Money in the Bank contract before. He is the Lone Wolf, Baron Corbin. Corbin looking to become a two-time Money in the Bank winner here this evening at Money in the Bank. Bear. 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 Bear.
Baron Corbin made it clear that he is going to destroy everyone in this matchup. Anyone that stands in his way will fall at the hands of the Lone Wolf. Corbin determined to become a two-time Money in the Bank winner here tonight. a massive victory this past Monday night on Raw when he defeated the American Nightmare Tony Rhodes in one-on-one -on -one competition. Bronson Reed has a ton of momentum heading into this matchup here this evening. This very well could be the night for the behemoth Bronson Reed. Here comes the final competitor in this Money in the Bank ladder match. He is the one and only Ricochet. And from Pajuka, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet. Ricochet is going to use his high flying ability here tonight in order to become Mr. Money in the Bank for the first time in his career. Who's walking out with the Money in the Bank contract? Let's find out. The bell sounds and we're on the way. And every man jockeys for position. Corbin with a suplex. And Cody Rhodes with a knee to the midsection of AJ Styles. Oh, and there's a side Russian leg sweep. Oh, Ricochet takes out Corbin momentarily. Now Cody Rhodes sends him to the outside, and Corbin with a side Russian leg sweep of his own. No disqualifications or countouts in Money in the Bank ladder matches, as we saw earlier tonight when Alexa Bliss became the winner of the Money in the Bank contract for the women. Cody Rhodes setting up the ladder now. And Cody Rhodes wasting no time. But wait a minute, AJ Styles with his hands on the Money in the Bank contract. And Cody Rhodes trying to prevent Styles from walking out here tonight as Mr. Money in the Bank. Styles and Rhodes at the top of the ladder, but they back and forth down those Styles. And now Cody can have a chance here. Everyone else is distracted. Cody trying to become Mr. Money in the Bank. Trying to pull down the contract. But AJ right back to the top of the ladder. And the fight continues between Rhodes and Styles. Who's going to get the better? It's Cody Rhodes. Down goes Styles. And again, Cody trying to become Mr. Money in the Bank. But he gets yanked down by Bronson Reed. And now look Corbin. Baron Corbin trying to become a two-time Money in the Bank winner. Bronson Repo is not having it. And now Balor. Oh, both men colliding off the ladder. The ladder is down. And now Styles going off to Finn Balor. What a number of matches that Styles and Balor have had in the last few weeks leading into Money in the Bank. First a one-on-one -on -one contest two weeks ago in SmackDown, and then this past Friday, a triple threat match along with Ricochet. And Cody Rhodes is set up on the ladder right now, and that is not where he wants to be, as Ricochet, oh my God! Ricochet collides into the ladder. Cody Rhodes got out of the way. Bronson Reed just bringing his body weight down there with Baron Corbin. Oh, Cody Connor Reed and Corbin with a close line. Every man for themselves in this type of matchup. 
Now Bronson Reed, German suplex to the American Nightmare. And look at Corbin with the steel steps. Headbot by Reed. And this could be the behemoth's moment. Reed targeting the knee of Cody Rhodes, and that's going to make it very difficult to climb the ladder. Shot there to the chest, and now Reed heading up to the top turnbuckle. Looking for the tsunami. Cody got out of the way. And now Cody Rhodes sending Ricochet to the outside. And now Bronson Reed set up. Pedigree. Pedigree to the behemoth. Cody Rhodes with another chance. And he's going to take it. The American Nightmare looking to achieve his dream. Trying to pull down the Money in the Bank contract. Can Cody Rhodes become Mr. Money in the Bank? Bronson Reed shoving down the ladder. And now Bronson Reed may make the climb. Bronson Reed climbing up. And Cody Rhodes now going to play defense. Trying to knock Reed off the top of the ladder. But this could be Bronson Reed's moment. And now Balor getting involved. Down goes Reed. And check this out. Oh! Cody and Styles trying to work together. But Finn Balor countered. And now Ricochet. Can he become Mr. Money in the Bank? No! Corbin with the electric chair drop. Ricochet hit hard. Now look at the strength of Baron Corbin. We just got caught in. And Cody Rhodes lying in wait. Went for the ball on there in the corner. Baron Corbin with a choke slam. And now Styles with the car crusher. Locked in on Reed. And that will certainly do the damage. Trying to eliminate Bronson Reed from the matchup. But Reed survives. And now Cody up onto the shoulders. Death Valley Driver. And now Bronson Reed back to the top turnbuckle. Reed's going to fly, but again he missed the tsunami. Elbows now to the midsection by Rhodes. Arm drag by Styles. And look at this flurry in the ring right now. Everybody going at it. And Corbin sent to the outside of the ring. AJ Styles putting those educated strikes to good use. Oh, and now the ladder coming into play. And Cody Rhodes has the ladder set up. But he looks to contend with Bronson Reed right now. Oh, insecurity. Bronson Reed is dazed and confused. And now Cody Rhodes setting him up. Crossroads. Cody Rhodes ascending the ladder. Another chance. Can Cody Rhodes become Mr. Money in the Bank? Cody Rhodes trying to achieve his dream, but wait a minute. Oh! Ricochet with a pump kick. And now Ricochet on a roll. Northern Lights suplex. And check out the power of Ricochet. Now everybody's in the ring right now. Shocky in full position. There goes AJ Styles. And Cody Rhodes. Again sent out to the ladder that's set up between the announce table and the apron. Cody Rhodes in a bad spot right now. There's another super to by Corbin. Now Baron Corbin lining up Finn Balor. Looking for the end of days. 
Balamor able to reverse. And Cody again utilizing the ladder as a weapon. Completely legal. But Corbin looking for the end of days on Cody. Cody reverses and oh my goodness. What a kick by Ricochet. And now Ricochet from the top. Shooting star press. Corbin going off to Bronson Reed. End of days. Chaos ensuing in the ring right now. Back and forth between all of these men. Cody cut off. And AJ Styles sent back to the outside. Cody now with the pedigree to Ricochet. And now Finn Balor back into the ring and he takes out Cody. Finn Balor spoiling the party for the American Nightmare. Oh, and Bronson Reed showcasing his power. Neck breaker to Styles. Cody Rhodes has made it back into the ring. And Cody again with the ladder. Watson Reed knocked down to the canvas. Cody Rhodes looking to capitalize. Cody climbing to the top of the ladder. Watson Reed though has made it back up to his feet. Can Cody pull down the briefcase? No, Watson Reed shoves the ladder down. And oh, Ricochet Lance hold on the ladder. Down goes Cody Rhodes. Reed with the human army. And AJ Styles, oh, he missed out. He went for a high risk and it backfired. And now Bronson Reed wiping out the competition. And Reed has set up the ladder. Oh, deep six by Corbin. And Baron Corbin looking to become a two-time Money in the Bank winner. Cody Rhodes, though, he's going to play defense. Trying to prevent Corbin from becoming Mr. Money in the Bank, and he does. And now Bronson Reed trying to send Cody off the ropes. Oh! AJ Styles tried to intercept, but he caught that massive uppercut. Now the elbows went to the midsection. Who's walking out with the Money in the Bank contract? History could very well be made tonight with a brand new Money in the Bank winner. A lot of these men have never become the holder of the Money in the Bank contract. Tonight could very well be their night. As Finn Balor gets sent out onto that ladder that's been bridged from the announce table and the apron. Cody Connor to Brunson Reed. And Cody with another chance here. He needs to take it. Cody Rhodes resetting up the ladder. And the American Nightmare ascending the ladder. Trying to achieve his dream one more time. Can he pull it down? Cody Rhodes has done it. Cody's Mr. Money in the Black. Here is your winner, and Mr. Money in the Bank, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! One step closer. I am joined by Mr. Money in the Bank, Cody Rhodes. Cody, how does this moment feel right now? Oh, absolutely amazing, but as good as it feels right now, it's going to feel way better when I cash this in. You're going to want to tune in tomorrow night for war. That's all I'm saying. The following contest is a ladder match. That is for the Raw Women's Championship. 
Well, now we are set for a ladder match as Nikki Cross challenges Becky Lynch for the Raw Women's Championship. There is the psychotic Nikki Cross. Introducing the challenger from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross, such a chaotic individual. It is very difficult to predict what she's going to do next. Can Nikki Cross become more women's champion here tonight at Money in the Bank? The title will be suspended above the ring per her request. And here comes the champion. And introducing the champion from Dublin, Ireland. She is the Raw Women's Champion, Becky Lynch! The man has come to town. And tonight she defends her championship against Nikki Cross in a ladder match. Two weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, Piper Niven interrupted the Nikki Cross Becky Lynch matchup and aided Cross to a victory over the champion leading to this matchup here tonight for the championship. There seems to be a partnership between Nikki Cross and Piper Niven stemming from their friendship. Well, here we go. Ladder match for the Raw Women's title. And Cross out of the gate coming right after the champion. Becky Lynch now though fighting back. Not going to give Cross an inch here tonight. Oh, what a forearm. And Nikki Cross driving Lynch to the outside. And now both women on the outside of the ring. And the fight continues. Cross body. And Lynch with a kick to the midsection in response. Cross now sent into the steps. These two women are going to hold nothing back here tonight. No disqualifications or countouts. And now look at this. The fight continuing in the crowd. Cross and Lynch in amongst the WWE Universe. Back and forth between Cross and Lynch. Nikki Cross in control right now. And now Becky Lynch set back into the ring. Remember, you have to climb the ladder to retrieve the championship. There are no pinfalls or submissions in this matchup. Nikki Cross requested that this matchup be a ladder match. And Becky Lynch agreed to the terms. Reverse DDT by the champion. And there's the leg drop. Looking for a second one, but Cross got out of the way. And now Nikki Cross came running at Lynch. Lynch able to counter. And thinking about a suplex here is Becky, but Nikki Cross lands on her feet. Oh, and there's that backstabber once again. Now the challenger setting up Becky Lynch. Looking for that straight checking neck breaker. And now Cross back to the outside of the ring. She's going to grab a hold of that ladder. Lynch telling her to bring it in. Oh, and there's a shot by Nikki Cross. And now from the high red district, went for the missile drop kick, nobody home. Now Becky Lynch taking the fight to Nikki Cross. Driving her into the corner. Oh, what a suplex. 
Force hit the turnbuckle hard. And now Becky Lynch has set up the ladder. Becky Lynch making the climb, trying to retain the War Women's Championship. Can she pull the title down? Nikki Cross though is stirring. And Cross now to the top of the ladder. Cross trying to knock the champion off the top of the ladder. Went for the chop, Lynch with a big shot to the face. And now Cross with one right back. There's the chop. Who's gonna get the better of the other here in this exchange? Back and forth at the top of the ladder. And down goes the champion, Nikki Cross now. Trying to become War Women's Champion here tonight. But Lynch making the climb back to the top of the ladder. And the fight continues. And oh my goodness, what the hell is Cross thinking? Nikki Cross with a neck breaker from the top of the ladder. Lynch hit hard, and that could do it. We may have a new War Women's Champion. Can Nikki Cross pull down the championship? Becky Stirring. Can Becky Lynch put a stop to Nikki Cross becoming champion here at Money in the Bank? Becky Lynch is hurt, you can just tell. Fatigue already setting in. Becky Lynch now, oh my god. Looking to return to favor. Suplex from the top of the ladder. This has been a brutal match. And Cross rolling to the outside. Lynch may have the title one. But Nikki Cross back to her feet. And Nikki trying to knock Becky Lynch off the top of the ladder. What a matchup this has been thus far. Down goes Lynch. And now the man is in trouble. Cross sends her into the corner. Big shoulder tackle. Lynch retorts with a kick to the back. And now looking for the back spoiler, cross reverses. And up goes Becky Lynch for the driver. And Nikki Cross thinks she's won the match. She needs to make the climb first. She thinks Becky Lynch is done, but look at Becky. Showcasing her resilience, she's back to her feet. And now Lynch trying to knock Nikki Cross off the top of the ladder. And down goes the challenger. And now what is Becky Lynch thinking? As she sets up the ladder in the corner. Oh, went to drop the elbow. Uh, Cross got out of the way. And now Nikki Cross, looking for something, Lynch rolls through. WWE Universe firmly behind the champion. Oh, what a shot there by Nikki Cross. Drop kick. And now Cross to the outside. Looking to introduce some more weaponry. Steel chair now being introduced by Cross. And Nikki Cross just waiting for Lynch to get back up to her feet. And Lynch yanks the chair out of the hands of Cross. Fire on there in the corner. And now Lynch heading to the top turnbuckle. Becky's gonna fly. Thinking about a moonsault. Cross got out of the way. Swinging neck breaker. And Cross is all fired up. Nikki Cross with the steel chair. Oh! Lynch caught him with a kick to the face. And now Becky Lynch 
waiting for Cross. Manhandle slam right on the chair. And that'll do some damage. Lynch gonna send Cross to the outside. Can she capitalize? The ladder has been set up again. And Becky Lynch may have just retained the War Women's Championship. Can she pull down the title? She can. Becky Lynch is still War Women's Champion. Here is your winner. And still. I am joined by Shinsuke Nakamura and Shinsuke, later tonight you will compete against Roman Reigns for the WWE title. How much does this match mean to you? This is more than a championship match. This is about me proving myself, proving that I am on the same level as Roman Reigns. Tonight is my night. Nakamura versus Reigns still to come your way tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Universal Championship. Welcome back, everyone, to Money in the Bank. As it is now time for the Universal Championship match. It's fight night here at Money in the Bank. And there is the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Set to challenge Seth Freakin' Rollins for the Universal title. And this rivalry began when Seth Rollins made a mockery out of Drew McIntyre's suspension. Drew McIntyre assaulted Seth Rollins after the Universal Championship match, leading to a suspension by General Manager JBL. Rollins would proceed to mock the suspension of Drew McIntyre, Sheamus' close friend. Sheamus took issue, of course, with this and made his intentions clear. He wants to take the Universal Championship away from Seth freaking Rollins. This past Friday night on SmackDown, Sheamus made mention of the fact that he believes that Rollins cares more about the championship than he does his own wife. It has certainly become very personal between these two men in the lead up to Money in the Bank. But tonight it goes down inside of the ring and Sheamus dethrone Seth freaking Rollins here tonight and avenge his close friend Drew McIntyre. McIntyre, of course, failed to capture the Universal Championship at Starcade. And due to some comments made by Rollins at the end of the matchup, McIntyre snapped. Assaulted the hell out of the Universal Champion, and that is what led to his suspension. We have not seen McIntyre since the SmackDown after Starcade. There is no telling when he will return, if ever. Introducing the challenger from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. He is the WWE Universal Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins. So here we go for the Universal Championship. Seth Freakin' Rollins defends against the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. For the most prestigious prize on SmackDown. 
And you've got to wonder if Drew McIntyre is watching this. Hoping that his close friend Sheamus walks out with the championship tonight. The referee calls for the bell and we are underway. And Sheamus going right off to Seth Rollins. Rollins giving it right back to Sheamus. Back and forth between these two men early on, but what a shot by Sheamus. Dazing Seth freaking Rollins, and now with the boots right to the chest. Sheamus gaining the upper hand, but here comes Rollins. The champion now trying to battle back. There's a kick though to the bread basket. And Sheamus following up. Vertical suplex by the Celtic Warrior, and a knee to the chest. The WWE Universe certainly behind Sheamus in this one. As now here comes Rollins, big shot again by Sheamus. And Rollins lands on his feet. And now the Celtic Warrior gets sent into the corner. Sheamus though fighting out. Down goes Rollins. Sheamus went for that knee drop again, but this time Rollins got out of the way. And again, Rollins battling back. Sheamus sent to the outside. And now the Universal Champion is going to fly. Looking for the Wrecking Ball drop kick. Sheamus, though, able to evade. And this matchup now spilling to the outside. Sheamus trying to get Rollins back in. He knows that he can only win the championship by pinfall or submission inside the ring. And what a shoulder tackle there by Sheamus for the Universal Championship. And a kick out at one. Still early days in this contest. Rollins with a shot there to the midsection. And here comes the champion. Looking for that big knee, Sheamus got out of the way. And now Sheamus, no Rollins with a counter. Sheamus though, elbow to the gut. And now Rollins up onto the shoulders. White noise for the Universal Championship. Rollins gets his shoulder off. Tonight, Sheamus is looking to become Universal Champion for the first time in his career, and Rollins does not want to be there. Rollins, though, caught Sheamus with a shot to the face. And now they're going to follow up. Sheamus able to sidestep. And Rollins up into the electric chair position, but what a reversal. Sheamus went back up to a vertical base. And Rollins is going to capitalize. STO right into the turnbuckle. Cover here to retain the championship and a kick out at two. Oh, what a forearm. And Sheamus power slam. Sheamus all fired up here tonight at Money in the Bank as he looks to avenge Drew McIntyre's loss at Storcade. Jawbreaker there by Rollins. And now, Seth Rollins with the Falcon Arrow. Morning Sheamus to retain the championship. Sheamus pops the shoulder off. And now Rollins is going to head up to the top turnbuckle. Seth Rollins thinking about a high risk. Sheamus caught him. And now the Celtic Warrior in position. All but Seth Rollins. Watch Sheamus. Kick to the midsection there by Rollins. And now the champion with a knee as well. Right to the god of Sheamus. And now Rollins looking to put this away. Thinking about the pedigree of the card stop. Sheamus caught him with a forearm. And Rollins again. Showcasing his balance, what a kick to the face. Both men now down. Who's going to capitalize? Rollins setting up the Celtic Warrior. Big shot to the back of the neck. 
And Rollins again, lining up Sheamus. Thinking about the pedigree, Sheamus blocked it. And there's a close line. What a competitive matchup this has been. And now Sheamus looking to plant Rollins. Rollins not countering. And Sheamus is being picked back up to his feet. Seth Rollins going to showcase his strength. Look at this. Oh, running sit out power bomb. For the Universal Championship, Sheamus is still in it. And now Sheamus needs a bit of reprieve as he heads to the outside of the ring. But the champion Seth Rollins with his foot on the gas pedal. Tope Suicida. And this has been non-stop action between Seth Rollins and Sheamus. And the action again on the outside. Let's look at these two, jockeying for position. Oh, Sheamus into the apron. And oh, bulldog by Sheamus. Count of five from the official. And these two have up until a 10 count to get back into the ring. Big super kick by Rollins. This time on the outside of the ring. And Sheamus sent back in. Can Rollins retain the Universal Championship right here? Phoenix Flash, that could do it. Shoulders down on Sheamus. Rollins to retain. Oh, we almost had him. But Sheamus showcasing that trademark resilience that we've come to expect from him over the years. And now here comes the Celtic Warrior. Second win for Sheamus. Sheamus feeling the adrenaline right now. As he looks to capture the Universal Championship for the first time in his career. Sheamus lining up Rollins. Went for the broke knee. Rollins with a boot to the head. And now Rollins went to the leg of Sheamus. Smart move by the champion. Oh, there's a boot to the chest. And now back up to the top turn. Buckle goes Rollins. Went for the frog splash. Sheamus got out of the way. And now Rollins being set up for the Alabama Slam. And Sheamus now looking in the Cloverleaf. Submission maneuver by Sheamus to become Universal Champion. What is Seth freaking Rollins going to do? Is Sheamus going to become champion? No, wait a minute, Rollins rolls through, drop it to the chest. And now Rollins with that rolling forearm. Caught Sheamus upside the head. And again, Seth Rollins with another one for good measure. And could Seth freaking Rollins be closing in on retaining the Universal Championship? Rollins just waiting for Sheamus to get back to his feet. There's a kick to the gut. Oh, Insiguri found its mark. But Sheamus retorts with that elbow. And he went for white noise. Rollins may be thinking about the pedigree. And now Sheamus, sit out short form. For the Universal Championship, Rollins pops the shoulder up in time. Now Rollins rolling underneath the bottom rope and he does not want to be there. He managed to avoid this early in one of the match, but now Sheamus with the 10 beats of the Falcon. Just pounding on the chest of the champion. And now it's Sheamus who could be closing in. Sheamus looking to become Universal Champion for the first time in his career tonight. And he may be on the cusp 
But as I say that, there's a shot right to the cut. And Rollins fires back. Sheamus though blocks the forearm. And again to the gut goes Rollins. Went for the Inzaguri, nobody home that time. And now Rollins driven into the barricade. The referee continues his count to 10. Sheamus needs to get Rollins back into the ring in order to win the championship. But look at Rollins getting the better of Sheamus. Count of six now by the official. Count of seven. Oh, what a shot by Sheamus. Rollins with a kick went to the midsection. And a super kick to the face. Both men fall. Count of nine by the official. And we've got a double count out. This Universal Championship match has ended in a double count out. And the WWE Universe are chanting restart the match. But I don't think we've got time. We've still got the WWE title match to come. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship! Well, it is now time for Monday Night Raw's main event of the evening as we welcome you back to Money in the Bank. And there is the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, making his way down to the ring. And tonight he challenges Roman Reigns for the WWE Championship. What a match this is going to be. And what a moment this could be for Shinsuke Nakamura. Looking to become WWE Champion tonight. Looking to prove, as he stated earlier, that he is on the same level as Roman Reigns. Shinsuke stated earlier that this is more than just a championship match for him tonight. This is about proving his work, proving that he is on the same level as the WWE Champion, Roman Reigns. Monday Night Raw's main event here at Money in the Bank is about to go down. And what a main event. This is going to be. And here comes the tribal chief. The head of the table. The reigning defending WWE champion. Here comes Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns defeated the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes at Vengeance to become WWE Champion. Tonight he defends that title for the first time since he won it. He comes up against the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Does Nakamura have what it takes to defeat Roman Reigns here tonight? Of course, it was Paul Heyman that cost Cody Rhodes the matchup of vengeance. Earlier tonight, though, Cody Rhodes became Mr. Money in the Bank. He is in possession of a contract that he can cash in at any point in time up to a year for a championship opportunity. Could Cody Rhodes cash in here tonight at Money in the Bank? 
Cody Rhodes obviously stated after the men's Money in the Bank ladder match that we should tune into Monday Night Raw, implying that he intends to maybe cash in tomorrow night. But as we know here in WWE, plans can change in an instant. And I'm sure the, if the opportunity presented itself during this matchup, Cody Rhodes would not hesitate to cash in. event of Money in the Bank is about to be on the way as Roman Reigns defends the WWE Championship for the first time since he won it at Vengeance against Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura Reigns here tonight at Money in the Bank and what a match this is going to be. Introducing the challenger from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura! And his opponent from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the WWE Champion! Roman Reigns! Well, no doubt Paul Heyman is going to try and get involved in this matchup tonight, just like he did successfully, might I add, at Vengeance when Reigns became WWE Champion. Will that same fate meet Nakamura here tonight? As we are about to be on the way. Reigns, Nakamura. Here we go. And Reigns with that side headlock take over to begin proceedings. Nakamura has been grounded early on. He's able to escape. And make it back up to his feet. And look at Reigns go. Taking it to the King of Strong Style. Back elbow found its mark there though, and here comes Nakamura now. Showcasing his striking ability. And Reigns went for the clothesline, caught a kick right to the midsection. And look at Nakamura go. Driving Reigns into the corner. And now Nakamura with the knees, right to the gut of the champion. And old Nakamura was thinking about some good vibrations, but Roman Reigns Hoist Nakamura up onto his shoulders. What a counter though by the King of Strong Style. And oh, Nakamura, more knees, this time to the skull of Roman Reigns. And this is what Nakamura needs to do. He needs to use those educated strikes to his advantage. shot by the champion. Roman Reigns certainly not a bad striker. So he just pounds away on Nakamura right now. WWE Universe firmly behind Nakamura. There's a shot right to the midsection. And Shinsuke again. Utilising his striking prowess. Roman Reigns though shuts it down. Now looking for a gut wrench suplex, maybe. Nakamura able to reverse. Oh, double knees right to the spine. Nakamura with the backstabber for the title and a kick out at one. Nakamura just putting the boots to Roman Reigns and what a forearm. Caught Reigns right in the skull. Oh, and there's a well placed knee. And Roman Reigns rolling to the outside. He needs a breather. 
And now Kimura trying to get underneath the skin of Roman Reigns. Oh, what a shot there. And now Kimura firing back. Reigns now sent off the ropes. Nakamura snap job and suplex. Lightning quick offense by the King of Strong Style. And now setting up for that reverse exploder. Reigns though lands on his feet. Nakamura caught the leg. And again the forearm to the skull. And Heyman, of course. Paul Heyman getting involved. And Roman Reigns taking advantage as he unrolls it Nakamura in the corner. Oh, Nakamura over the boot of the face. Reigns took his eyes off the prize. And now here comes Shinsuke. Battling back now in this WWE title match. Northern Light Suplex for the bridge. Shoulders down the Reigns for a counter two. And again, Heyman. Paul Heyman again getting involved. And now Reigns from behind. Pump handle suplex. And look at the strength here. Another suplex by Reigns. And he's looking for the trifecta. Three massive suplexes to Nakamura. And Reigns went for the clothesline to follow, but Nakamura went for the kick. Reigns able to duck underneath, and now the cravat is locked in. The cravat on Nakamura. Roman Reigns trying to retain the WWE title, but Nakamura is having none of it. And oh, there's the kick. Right to the back of Roman's skull. Roman Reigns is dazed. And this is where Nakamura needs to capitalize. Reigns though rolling to the outside of the ring. Nakamura now. Oh, caught a massive form. Oh, right to the midsection. Nakamura continuing to fight here this evening, but so is Roman Reigns. And off the collision, Nakamura again delivers that kick. And now, wait a second, Shinsuke Nakamura. Kinshasa! In the cover on Reigns. Do we have a new champion? Oh, Roman at the last second. That was too close for me. I thought Nakamura almost did it. Another knee strike. And Shinsuke Nakamura has done a fantastic job thus far of utilizing his striking ability. And again, it almost led to a WWE title victory. Oh, big kick. And Roman Reigns may not have a clue where he's at right now. Nakamura strikes. Just too much for Roman Reigns, but there's a reversal. And that is what Roman needed. Went for the Superman punch, Nakamura sidesteps. Oh, back for a job. Knee right to the spine. And now Nakamura poised to strike. Off the ropes, went for the Kinshasa, Reigns caught him out this time. Oh, and there's a forearm by Shinsuke. Heyman again, providing a distraction. And Reigns, with the Crucifix Powerbomb for the championship. Reigns has done it, no. Nakamura is still in this. Body shots now by Roman, and a suplex to follow. And Reigns, I think, was going for the spear, but Nakamura wisely rolled to the apron. Oh, and there's a forearm shot by Nakamura. Now from the high rent district, Shinsuke Nakamura's gonna fly. Oh, went for the crossbody, got caught. And Roman Reigns with the Samoan drop. You think you're on my level, huh? You think you're on my level, Shinsuke? 
And Reigns talking some trash. Nakamura went right to the midsection. Oh, another knee strike. I don't think he got all of that one though. And now Paul Heyman again. Interjecting himself. And Roman Reigns is going to send Nakamura into the corner. Big hit to the skull. Nakamura trying to overcome the odds here tonight. Paul Heyman keeps interjecting himself. Nakamura's doing whatever he can to remain in the fight. Big knee now off the apron. Can Shinsuke capitalise? Reigns gets sent back into the ring. And Nakamura may be one move away, but again, Heyman. This is ridiculous. This is just like what we saw at Vengeance. And now Roman Reigns lining up Nakamura's spear. And oh no. Are you kidding me? Nakamura kicked out of the spear. And Roman can't believe it. Nakamura trying to stand, and he does. Roman looked for the spear again. Nakamura saw it coming. And now Nakamura with the Kinshasa. Roman countering. And now Shinsuke up onto the shoulders. Powerful by Reigns. And Nakamura utilizing the ropes to get back to his feet. And Nakamura sending Reigns to the outside. This is our main event here tonight at Money in the Bank for the WWE Championship. And Shinsuke, big right hand. There's the reverse exploder. And Nakamura could be one move away. But again, Roman special counsel, Paul Heyman, Getting involved. Spear by Reigns. On the rebound to the ropes. Come on. Roman retains. I don't believe it. Here is your winner. And still, the WWE Champion, Roman Reigns has done it again, all thanks to his special counsel, Paul Heyman. Reigns is still WWE Champion.